Now this is the story of Andy Murray. He made it pretty big and he did it in a hurry. At only 26 he doesn't have to worry for his Wimbledon champion. Against Djokovic in that very last game he was oblivious to everything including the pain. But winning it ensured him of eternal fame. Now he's Wimbledon champion. In 2012 he made his big breakthrough. He won the U.S. Open and Olympic gold too. Now he's at the top of the tree, it's true, for he's Wimbledon champion. Then he outdid himself in 2016 when he won again on the Wimbledon scene. He's the best Scottish player there has ever been for he's Wimbledon champion. As a Scot, he grew up in the town of Dunblane, which had a day of infamy and lots of pain, but the reputation it can now reclaim for his Wimbledon champion. Will he become Sir Andrew, or will he not, after seventy-seven years of Wimbledon drought? Or will all his efforts then come to naught, though he's Wimbledon champion? There's a new country dance made in his name. It's simply called the Pride of Dunblane. So let's all learn it and hum the refrain for his Wimbledon champion. In the end, he's got his mother to thank as he cries and cries all the way to the bank. If he keeps this up, he'll have the number one rank for his Wimbledon champion. So no flash in the pan is our Andy, with two in the bag he's here to stay. So let's stand up and shout hip hooray for his Wimbledon champion. Yes, let's stand up and shout hip hip hooray for his Wimbledon champion.